Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, we are going to fix a very common problem that Ethernet is connected but no internet access. So we know that the LAN wire, the cable is already connected to the laptop or the desktop but still, I mean the connection is fine but it's not giving us the internet. So it says uh, Ethernet is connected but no internet access. It's a fixable issue and we will be doing some very effective and very easy steps to fix it and once you've done that, I'm sure you will fix it on your own. So let's go ahead and do that. So very first thing here, we need to run the troubleshooter and if you have already run that, then you can skip that step. So I'll type troubleshoot and you will find troubleshoot settings. Now this uh, Ethernet connected issue will work on, I mean this will work on Windows 10, Windows 8 windows 11 so no issues so once you have typed search i mean under under search you have typed troubleshoot you will find troubleshooter and then we need to go to this other troubleshooters now here under most frequent section you need to run this network and internet troubleshooter and this will mostly fix the issue for you if there is an issue with the windows once you're done, we need to check whether uh, we have uh, any, uh, we have set any limitations to the network. We have set the metered connection or is it a private network or a public network? We need to check that as well. So for that, we just need to do a right click in the start icon and then we need to go to settings. And at the left hand side, we will find network and internet and I will click on that. Now we need to look for the ethernet option here. And under Ethernet, you will find your metered connection option. So if it is turned on like that, then you can turn it off. All right. So for in Windows 10, you will also find whether your connection is network. I mean, is it private or public? You can check that. All right. And in Windows 11, just like I'm using the Windows 11, you can see I have connected with the Wi-Fi properties and data usage. So here I can see whether I have a private network or a public network. So I can see I have a private network, so I'll click on that. So if it is selected public, you can set it to private. And if it is selected private, you can try public network. We need to do a right click in the start icon and then we need to go to device manager. Now we need to look for the driver where we have this ethernet. So I'll click on here. On the device manager we need to look for network adapters and i can see i have intel wireless uh, ac9560 that's a wireless adapter and here we have this realtek pci gv family controller that's a uh, ethernet adapter so what you can do is you can do a right click and you can update driver and search automatically for drivers and you can also try doing a right click and click on update driver and browse my computer then select let me pick from a list available and try one by one whichever works for you all right once you're done that you can do a right click and you can also disable it and then you can enable it so this will actually refresh it uh, refresh the network adapter so you can see i have just disabled it and i'll just enable it again right so by this for most of us this will fix the problem and if you still have issues what you can do is you can go back to a different computer or you can use a mobile phone and search this realtek pci gb family controller and download the driver from realtek website only so i'll open the browser and i'll type realtek and PCIe like that family controller so here I can see the real uh, realtech.com and from here you can download since your computer doesn't have internet you can use a, another PC and with the help of flash drive you can install this ethernet connection ethernet driver so I can see here we have this um, for uh, UEFI for Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11, we have many options and you can download according to your version of Windows. Alright, 
So once you have downloaded, you just need to install it and see if that works for you. So you can let me know in the comment section if you have successfully fixed this issue. And there is one more bonus tip which I want to give you, um, which is effective, yes. I'll just do a right click in the start icon and then click on run. And here type ncpa.cpl. Once you have typed it, click on OK. Now here you will find your Ethernet connection. You just need to do a right click, go to properties, and then select Ethernet protocol version 4, and then go to properties again. And here, if it is selected, uh, use the following DNS server, then select obtain server address automatically. And if it is selected, obtain DNS server automatically, then enter this Google DNS address. So basically we are changing things, right? So I can see I have already using the DNS server. If you're using the same thing, you can select obtain DNS server automatically. Or if it is or selected automatically, then use this DNS 8.8.8.8 and then 8.8.4.4. All right, so in this manner, for most of us, this will fix the problem. So I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.